Hey guys, it's Fonts. Welcome back to the channel. So today's video, are we a little too close? Maybe just a bit. Today's video is a little get ready with me. So I did my makeup with you guys. This has been my go-to face lately and it has been the routine that makes me feel the most confident. Like my skin looks nice and clear and glowy, but like things that I'm insecure about like dark spots and discoloration, like all of that's pretty covered, but my skin also looks real. And I don't know if that's ever been my goal with makeup before, but it is currently and I'm obsessed. And also a lot of the stuff is affordable. So if you want to see how I've been getting this makeup look, keep watching. <laughs> it's Fonz. I'm looking rough because we're about to do my makeup. I have been doing this one routine so consistently lately and I'm obsessed with it. It just makes me feel confident and pretty and like all evened out. So I figured I should film that with you guys. So I already did my brows. I do soap brows. I think I'm going to film a video like next month when I have to groom them because lately I'm obsessed but I'm also already primed. I use aloe vera gel. That's already all on my face. So the first thing that I like to do I went back to using my liquid halo highlight although sometimes I do use powder but it's a it's a bone stay so I'm gonna do the most you know also I haven't really been doing makeup content on here and I don't know I kind of miss it so <laughs> here we are also concealer under the brows you know the vibes I'm gonna go in with my peach corrector under my eyes and I kind of let this just work itself out. I normally let this set while I'm trying to do my eyebrows but I did my brows first. I have my sponge. I'm going to blend that out. I let it sit under my eyes the most though for the, like the longest time. I'm looking very pink right now. Then I'm going to color correct so I mean I'm gonna spot conceal. I haven't filmed a video like this in forever. I use either the melt stack which I love. I'm the top shade, which is... I either use the Melt Stack. I am in the shade, I think it's called Olive. Yeah, it's like amazing. It's legit my skin color. But I'm still really loving the Kiss concealers that I've purchased. So I'm going to just get that on all my dark spots that I put the peach on. I am really getting low on this. I think this might be my last, my last little trick with this one. Okay, and then I also take a little bit around the brows. And I also take it around the nose. By the way, I'm gonna look crazy these steps because I just like layer and let stuff sit. So, spot conceal, that's where I get my coverage. I'm gonna take the lighter version of that. So the first shade I used was Classic Tan, this one's golden. And I'm going to highlight my face. And I think we all know I'm a concealer whore, so I'm kind of packing that on a little bit. Now, if I wasn't filming, I would let the um, spot concealer and all of that sit on for much longer. But I'm actually sort of kind of running low on space on my camera. So I'm going to start to blend it out. And I just use my sponge for that. And I'm avoiding the highlight spots for now. And then I like to go in with the highlighted area. Sorry, I keep looking at the viewfinder. I don't know what's going on with me today. I guess I'm just a little nervous. I'm a little shy. I don't know. I'm still going to let it sit longer for my eyes. But I also, lately, I cream contour. So again, sometimes I use the melt stack. And if I do, I take the shade. Is it called Brighton? No, I lied. <laughs> if I use a melt stack, this is the warm blend shade and I think they're deep stack. But, or I take that putty bronzer from e.l.f. But lately I'm back to using my Smith & Colt concealer. I love it because it's so thin and it gives just enough color. And sometimes I do my jawline, but I feel like this is, whenever I do it, I feel like I'm just doing the most, so. And I take my Morphe brush, the Morphe, it says E63. So now I'm going to blend out under my eyes and then whatever I have left under my eyes I take on the lid and also right underneath that contour to like 
crisp it up a little. So right before I set everything, I now use cream blush, which I, I'm obsessed with it. This one is by LYS Beauty. This is the higher standard satin matte cream blush. I believe in the shade Empower. It's so pretty. <laughs> it's so pretty. I take it on like a smaller kind of dense blush brush. And I smile and I bring it up way high. And I kind of go a little crazy with this, but it's just so pretty. Like, how could I not? <laughs> how can I not? Before I set, I just like to make sure my under eye is like how I want it to. You know, I don't want any creases or anything. And then I start to set everything. So translucent for under the eyes and my highlighted areas. Then for my blush, I use this e.l.f. blush. Oh, I thought I forgot the name, but it's on here. I use it in the shade Always Rosy on like a stippling brush. Sometimes I don't set it, but I've been in a very blushed out mood, so I'm setting it today. I know it looks strong, just please hold. <laughs> then I take my tanned bronzer, my duo from Juvia's Place. I'm still, still rocking with it. I'm obsessed. So I just mix both the shades on a big fluffy tulip brush and I just pat it and put it like bring it backwards into my hairline because I typically have my hair done first. I'm gonna kind of buff this part out a little bit more. And now I look very <laughs> I look very like low-key sunburned but that's fine. I go in next with my face powder. So I'm back to using a powder foundation. I'm trying out this one and I actually kind of like it. It's the Maybelline Superstay full coverage powder foundation. I have it in the shade Golden Caramel and I always prefer it with the sponge so I like twist it on there and I literally I just bounce it up and around my face. Dude, like it's only been like 13 or so minutes, including me talking and stuff. This is such a fast routine, but I look so fresh and so clean. I still like to bake under my eyes. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Now I do. I don't care if like people aren't doing that, <laughs> to be honest. I feel like when it comes to like your go-to face and routine, like, yeah, there's going to be trends. And if they work, that's fun and fresh. But technically, this is a trend, but I like it, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> Okay, and I just like to bring that up a little bit to like the outer edge of my eye. I feel like that's a simple thing that lifts my face as well. While that's on, I just, I don't even do that much to my eyes. I just take the bronzer again and I put it in my crease with a fluffy brush. So I'll mix them, I guess. Um, for day to day, this is all I do. And I hate that I'm so boring for this for day to day. I used to do like used to have like several go-to different fun looks and I don't do that no more at least not lately so this is where we're at <laughs> then I take a highlight I'm just gonna use this one I I usually just I don't want to curse in this video but I just don't care so I just grab anyone this one happens to be the elf I mean the wet and wild golden flower crown and I just do the tip of my nose here what I love about this routine is that even though it's powder, I just look so healthy and like kind of glowy, so, but I know it's gonna last. So like I'll do a little extra to my face and to my eyes because it'll last, especially now that it's cooler, thank God. Buff out some of the bake, and then I usually just use the butt of the sponge. I have the face powder if it looks a little off to me. And then I do my mascara. So I used to be obsessed, and I still low-key am, with the Essence, what is it? It's their Lash Princess one, the green bottle, but now I use the e.l.f. No, this is Wet n Wild, girl. I use the Wet n Wild Big Papa, and I'm rocking with, I'm rocking with Mark, because Mark's rocking with us. Like, it's just doing what I need it to do. So while the first coat dries, I do my lips, which is also super basic now. I went back to my favorite gloss. This is the Wet... I don't know what brands I'm using. This is the Essence So Into It. I bought a bunch on eBay when I couldn't find it in store. And I always kiss off my chapstick. I don't know why. 
I just put on gloss and I call it a day. Sometimes I do liner too, but uh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> also, by the way, I did my nails. Aren't they so cute? I'm obsessed. It's so fun doing my nails again. Okay, second coat. And I think some days I do three coats, but I think I'm just going to stick with two. Dust the bake. And then setting spray, I'm pretty indifferent, meaning that like my favorite one finished, so now I'm just grabbing all the different ones I have to set my face. This one is by Smashbox. It's the Photo Finish Setting Spray. I like it. I feel like my makeup lasts pretty long if you're curious, but I'm not obsessed with it just yet. <laughs> I also feel like I'm eons behind because I know people were down bad for that like years ago and I just started using it. Okay, and then as it dries down, I just go back in with my sponge. I don't put any extra powder on it, but I just go back under where I like coverage the most. So that's my highlighted areas, <laughs> especially under my eyes. And then I'll use the butt if I'm like a little too dewy anywhere else. But lately, I mean, I love it. I love it. Okay. So let me bring you closer actually. Get into it. Yeah. So this is like the go-to face I've been doing lately. I just feel so cute. So fresh. I'm looking in my mirror. I feel so cute and fresh and clean and like dark spots are covered. But like my skin still looks real. Like you can kind of see like a breakout here or there. But I don't know what these products together are doing but I'm obsessed and I just feel so good and confident and also most of the stuff that I use is pretty affordable so that's another reason why I wanted to share see ya oh my gosh my first tutorial in a minute I hope you enjoyed I want to know I'm being vain I can't stop looking in the viewfinder I want to know what products you swear by that you love because I think we all know I'm gonna buy them I will buy them and yeah I'll see you in the next one bye guys